In this blended tutorial I will show you how to create a glass ball and then animate the scene so that the ball appears to be rolling. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. I should be using Blender version 2.80. Now the version I'm using at present is the beta version so a few things may change when it's more generally available. First of all, I'm just just remove this panel by hitting return on my keyboard. And if you've used Blender before, you'll see that the new version is completely different. Um, but don't let that put you off. It is actually a lot easier to use than the older version of Blender. So I'm just going to go through a few setup. Um, to the right of this screen. Um, apologise if you know a few bits and pieces but I'm assuming you're a completely new beginner yeah, on Blender. So you've got a few buttons down this side here. And what you want to do is left click on the render button. This is one that looks a bit like the back of a camera. And then next to where it says render engine there's a box with the word EV in it. Left click on this and left click on cycles. This will take you into cycles render. Now another thing you might want to change next to render there's a box that says 128 and this is really the sort of sample rate that your final animation will render at and the higher the number the longer each frame will take to render and one of the reasons people generally go for a higher um, frame rate is it gets rid of the noise but there is another way to remove noise in uh, Blender which I think is a lot better than going for a massive sample rate so what I'm going to do is where it says 128 I'm going to left click and type 32 and hit return so effectively I've got 32 in the render and 32 on the viewpoint. And that is all I'm going to do in this uh, render box. If we come down to the next box, looks like a back of a computer or front of a computer uh, printer, sorry. And this is the output box. So left click on the output box and then decide on a few things. First of all, the end frame here where it says 250 that means it's going to render 250 frames so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be looking for about four seconds so I'm going to left click on the box that says 250 and type in 100 and then where it, where it says frame rate 24 FPS I'm going to left click and just change this to 25 that gives me 4 seconds, 100 frames, 25 frames a second equals 4 seconds. At least it did when I was at school. Um, right, OK. Now, the other thing, if you're new to Blender um, or any kind of video editing, a lot of video editors now use something called FFmpeg. Now, next to file format, there's a little box that says PNG. Left click on this just look to see if you've got FFmpeg video um, showing. If you haven't, you I would, would advise you install this because you'll only get a couple of options for um, rendering video or video editing. So just check out on your system how to install FFmpeg. It's not difficult. Okay. So I'm not going to do anything more with this section so that's pretty good we'll leave it that okay come back over to your cube now a lot of my tutorials I've relied on keycasts and whatnot because of the new setup in blender it's it's really easy to follow so what I'm going to do is um, hopefully point you to in the right direction and you should be able to work your way around now difference with the new blender to the old one is your mouse buttons have changed so whereas we used to select something by right clicking on it you actually now left click on it to select it so I'm going to just place my pointer on the cube 
and then I'm going to right click and then all the way down the bottom left click on delete to get rid of it now if you come to the top of the screen there's an add button left click on this and then next to mesh left click on UV sphere now this little panel here pops up add UV sphere if you left click on the little arrow it brings up different things how many um, segments rings blah 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 I want to move this up so in the box it says Z I'm going to left click and type in 1 and hit return and then I'll just close this box down and this will bring this up level with the grid now if you right click on the, the um, sphere again and then left click on smooth shading it will smooth the sphere out you can roll your middle mouse if you want to zoom in so that's pretty good okay and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add up here a little add box and next to mesh I'm going to add a plane again I'll expand this little box here which says add plane and in the box it says 2 I'm going to left click and type in 30 three zero, and then close the box down now I want to go into camera view now the old shortcuts still work on your numbers pad but I'm going to actually left click on view and then next to viewpoint I'm going to left click on camera and that will take me into my camera view happy days to the right of the screen there's a little plus sign hold your left mouse button down over it and just drag it out and then in the box next to lock camera to view left click and put a little tick in it now if you now this is one where you might want to sort of learn a shortcut or a use of the mouse and your keyboard. Hold down shift and your middle mouse button and just drag your view down so that the sphere is in the middle of your camera view. And then release. What you don't want is these to be coming inside here. And for now, I, I'm actually going to left click against the lock camera to view so that there isn't a tick in it. And then if you place your pointer over the edge of this panel, you can just drag it over and close it. And now if you roll your middle mouse, you can zoom in and out of your camera view. OK, now you're pretty good to go. Top right of the screen couple of round buttons you're looking for the very far right one and if you hover your pointer over it it says rendered left click on this now drag this panel up holding your left mouse button down over this line here so you've got a reasonable size sort of box here and then look for the button that says timeline right along here left click on this and then left click shader editor left click on new and you can roll your mouse in this box if you want and then hold your mouse down your middle mouse button down so rolling your middle mouse button zooms in and out and holding your new middle mouse button down you can move things over so I'm going to just hold my left mouse button down on this one and move out of the way a bit so you you know what I'm doing. And I don't want this one so I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to left click delete. And at the top of the screen or at the top of this panel I'm going to left click on add. And then next to shader I'm going to left click on diffuse BSDF. Now you may not see it because you're pointers up here so just drag it down here and left click to release place your pointer over the green dot next to BSDF hold your left mouse button down drag your mouse 
and connect this little wire into the surface uh, green dot. So you connect it across these two here. Okay. Come down to add and then next to shader left click checker shader drag it over and then again as we did before place your pointer over the yellow dot next to color hold your left mouse button down and drag and connect into the yellow dot on the diffuse BSDF and this will happen now changing the colors so if I left click on the top white box and then if I hold my left mouse button down on the little dot here I can lighten or darken the colors so I'm gonna just go for pure white and then I'm gonna in the grey box left click and I'm gonna drag this up and I'm gonna slam it over to blue you can have any color you want I'm gonna go with blue and then the scale box it says 5, I'm going to left click and type in 20. That's all I'm going to do. So there you have all your nodes connected for your grid. Left click on your sphere and left click new. And again we don't want this. So left click on this, then right click, then left click delete to get rid of it. Come back up to add, left click on this, and then next to shader, left click on glass BSDF. Drag your mouse so you can see it in this panel. And again, point over the green dot, hold down your left mouse button, drag it into the surface. And this will happen. And that's it you've created your glass ball very simple I'm not going to change anything here you will gradually learn how to do different things if you're a complete beginner but that is your scene set up come to the shader editor where we changed it before left click and then left click timeline drag this panel down so you can see everything I'm going to roll my mouse to zoom in a bit top right of the screen to the left of collection left click on the little arrow then left click on the light look for this dot this sort of there's a dot with a ring around it this says object data button this will actually be a light if you click on it. Left click on area and left click news nodes. Give yourself some more light. I'm going to type in in the box it says 100, 2000. So that's everything set up there and that's fine. Okay. Come to the top right again and then left click on the little um, sphere it says lock uh, look dev it's the it's the one to the left of the render button so left click on this and this will happen ignore the sort of picture showing in the glass ball and then left click on your actual grid or your checker board and we want to start so this this is a bit of a cheat we're not going to roll the ball we're actually going to move this checker plate so to the left of the screen there's a button that says move move selected items left click on this and the first thing we need to make sure we, we've done is make sure that your pointer is right at the beginning if you're not sure just left click on this arrow here jump to first last frame in frame range now right click in the box 
and then left click insert keyframe and then left click location come to the very end of this track here you can do that with this button here jump to first last keyframe and then with your pointer on the red arrow hold your left mouse button down and drag this till it's just outside of the sort of viewport when you've done that right click insert keyframe left click on this and left click location go back to the beginning and just play to make sure this is working correctly I won't change the way this animates this this will start slow and then speed up and slow down again I won't go into that that's, a, that's something for another tutorial okay now we're good to go so animation or rendering an animation look for the little thing that looks like a print printer this is your output um, tab left click on this now the first thing I wouldn't this box here that says a hundred percent I wouldn't um, bother with a hundred percent so what I'm gonna do is take this down drag it down to 50% or you can type 50 in this box in fact I'll do that 50 hit return another thing you want to do is in the box it says right now you don't want to be trying to render everything as well as what you're viewing so in the box it says border just left click okay and what that'll do if I go up to the render button is it'll only render in view so we've got everything else set up next to the box it says TMP little folder left click on this and then decide where you want to save your video so I'm gonna go onto my desktop and then this box here I'm gonna just left click and give it a title so call it what you want I'll call it glass ball I'll do and then left click on accept you might have to do this twice okay come down here and where it says PNG left click then left click FFmpeg and then if you left click next to encoding that gives you different options here now I'm not gonna in fact I will I'll, I'll left click so if you I'm not sure they pronounce this but it's next to container is Motraska or something like that let click on this and then left click on quick time and that's all I'm gonna do I'm not gonna change anything else so that's in the encoding box and the other thing when you render if you look at this image here or this sort of scene here it's very grainy and um, if you roll your mouse it gets even worse you get this sort of effect now to get rid of that um, by the way you could go ahead and render this now but it would be grainy if you want to get rid of this you're going to have to come out of this uh, um, rend uh, output um, box and look for something um, how it looks like a little couple of little thumbnails this is called your view layers so left click on view layers and then left click deionizing now you've set everything up now so all you need to do you've set up your everything along here so all you need to do now is come to the top of the screen and look for the button that says render left click on this and don't left click on image left click on render animation left click on this and what will happen is this now if you look at the view it's grainy because you use the deionizer I wait till it runs around it sort of does a double sample and when it decides it will remove the grains so I'm gonna pause this recording and wait till this uh, 
finishes rendering speed this is going at I probably could go away on a world cruise and come back but anyway I'll leave this run and come back to it when it's finished okay well that's finished rendering so hopefully if I just close these down I should have a very simple animation which gives the impression of a ball rolling hopefully this helped a few people thank you for watching cheers